Hello everyone and welcome back for another Pear Blossom Press video. Today we're going to be working with the Halo Light and we've got some other products we're going to be using so we'll talk about those. I also have the Pear Blossom Press stamp set and then here's the Halo Light. This is the Halo Light combo pack. It has two Halo Lights and four One Lights so it's quite a great deal there. We also have some black sentiment stock. I love this stuff for white heat embossing and then we also have some of the Pear Blossom Press vellum. Super great stuff. We're going to be using this adorable stamp set called Spoonful of Sugar from Colorado Craft Company. And then I do have the matching die to go along with it. And then I have this uh, pattern paper from my stash. This is Wild Asparagus from My Mind's Eye. And so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to stamp out our darling little mouse image who is juggling some uh, sugar cubes. We're going to stamp him using some ink on three blackout ink. And I'm stamping that onto some Express It blending card. And that's just really good for alcohol marker coloring. So I'll put those colors up on the screen for you. And it's going to be some very basic coloring. I'm kind of going off of the colors that I found in my pa uh, pattern paper pack. Uh, I love doing that. Pattern paper can be so inspiring. So even if you don't necessarily decide to use the pattern paper, you might want to go through some of your pattern papers and, and then you can maybe be inspired by the color combinations that you see in those. I'm going to do a little bit of shadowing and shading using those colors that you see up on the screen. And then I am going to do a technique called tip to tip where I bring the uh, 07.3 to the 07.7 and try and color with that. It's just going to transfer some of that 7.7 .7 to the 7.3 and then I can transfer some of that color over. We'll bring in some OR 2.2 for his tail, his hands and his feet. And then I've got some grass down at the bottom. And then you'll see when I bring in that piece of pattern paper just how pretty that is and how well those go together. All right, so now we have our Y02.3 coloring that little bowl of sugar. How cute is this little mouse? I don't know what it is about these Anita Jerem images. They're just darling. They, um, I want them all. <laughs> uh, I don't have that many, but I definitely want them all. They're so cute. And then we're going to finish up coloring just the rest of it using some WG. And I'll bring in a white gel pen to make sure that those little dots on there are nice and white. And I'll even add a little bit of highlights to his ears. And then we're going to get ready to stamp out the sentiment. I'm going to use an anti-static powder tool on that black sentiment stock. I'll bring out some juicy embossing ink and then I'll stamp my sentiment down onto that sentiment stock and then cover that with that white detail embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat set that till that is smooth and melted. There isn't a die for this sentiment, so I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut around the sentiment. Typically, I probably would just cut around it with my guillotine trimmer, but I really wanted it to be close to the sentiment, so I'm using some scissors and just trimming around those, moving the, the piece rather than the scissors so much. That just helps to get a better cut. Then once I'm done with that, we can bring in the matching die that goes along with our darling little spoonful of sugar. Tack that down with a little bit of mint tape and run that through our die cutting machine. And I can even cut out the sugar. So here's the piece of pattern paper that I've cut down and here's my halo light. I went ahead and put it together. It's so simple, just put the battery in there. And then I am going to line up where I want this to go on that piece of pattern paper. I did cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. So there's gonna be a little bit of a border on the left and right hand side. I have a circle die from My Favorite Things, and I'm going to go ahead and die cut that out. It does leave a little bit of a stitched border, which is super fun. And as you can see, I have a pencil, and I'm going to mark where that circle is. I'm just marking just small sections of it, and I'm not going very dark, so I can erase it later. And then I can take my halo light, and I can kind of play around with where I think I want that halo light to go. When I'm happy with that, I will bring in some liquid glue. You could use some double-sided adhesive if you want to, but I think the liquid glue works fine. Just know that once it's down, it's down. But it does give you a little bit of wiggle room, so that's, that's always good. So I'll bring in this white eraser. We'll erase those little lines, uh, even though you're probably not going to see them because I do plan to use some vellum, but I'm just going to erase them anyway. And then I can bring in my paper, and while I have my pencil out, I'll mark where the mechanism needs to be pushed. I'm just going to use a dot from the pencil and then I'll bring in that Pear Blossom Press stamp set and I'll ink that up with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. 
and I can stamp the word push right over the dot that I put down with my pencil. So now you know, or the recipient will know where to push. Isn't that paper cool though? Super fun. I'll stamp on the back handmade for you from our Pear Blossom Press stamp and then I'll stamp my own little stamp on the back as well. Just to make sure I get that done. I do have the vellum. I want to soften that light just a little so I'm putting some glue all around the circle on the back of my patterned paper and then I'll stick the vellum down to that. And now I can attach down our darling little mouse to the front. Again, using liquid glue. I was torn at first. I was like, oh, I should use some foam tape. But then I realized and remembered we're going to have to use some foam tape on the back so that we can, you know, have the mechanism up a little, or the mechanism down and the paper up a little bit. So too much foam tape on there, it's going to make it almost impossible to mail. <laughs> we don't want that. I'll glue down his little sugar cubes, and then I'll glue down his sentiment as well. I love that sentiment. It's just a sweet little encourager. The key to juggling life is to do it with grace. Now I can use some of that world's best foam tape that Pear Blossom Press carries. This stuff really is amazing. I know you've probably heard about it a million times, but I love this stuff. It's repositionable for about 30 minutes. The release paper comes off super simply, and yeah, it's just really great. It's just great foam tape, and it's perfect for shakers as well. So if you're a shaker maker, <laughs> maybe you don't do lights. I don't know. Maybe you just like to watch the lights, but if you're a shaker maker, world's best foam tape is perfect for you also. Peel off that release paper and stick down the front or our panel to our card base and you can see how fun that light works. I'm going to take that leftover piece, we're going to glue that to the inside of the card. It's just kind of fun, draws the outside to the inside. And then I do want to stamp that one last sentiment from, well there's actually quite a few sentiments, I say four sentiments. Um, and you do it well, do it so well. I thought that went so well with our sentiment on the front. And then that's gonna finish off our card for today. I really hope you like it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you do, please hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Pear Brussel Press has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.